Well, hello there, folks. Happy Saturday to you. And I hope that I find you very well and you're having a smashing day so far. So as you can see, I've gone to Aldi this week for the family food shop. But I did get a couple of things from Sainsbury's as well that I can never find from Aldi or Lidl or, you know, any of the smaller supermarkets. So I'll just run you through what I go as usual. If you're new and it's your first time here, my name's Cheryl. We are a family of four from Scotland and it would be lovely to see you back again. So if you do like these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing just before you go. And this was the receipt here. So £54.72p, which I think is an absolute bargain for a week's worth of family shopping. So I got my usual cheese. So a big block of cheddar. That's a 400 gram block. You know, it's really good value when you compare it to the grated. So I got some grated mozzarella and also a ball of buffalo mozzarella as well and for yogurt i got one of the large mango papaya and passion fruit and a few of these new layered so i got a strawberry a lemon and also a caramel one as well a couple of pots of double cream because i'm going to be making my own butter and that's all you need just the cream a couple of these new uh, chocolate mousses that everybody is raving about just now a couple of different kinds of tomatoes. So I've got the usual vine tomatoes and some of these wee tiny grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes, whatever you like to call them. These are for a pasta sauce that I'm going to be doing. And then a bag of bistro salad and that's what you've got in there because people do ask, you know, what is in your salad? So there you go. And then a bag of parsnips. I'm going to be doing a slow cooker sausage casserole. So I'll pop these in and also a corn in the cob there just at the top that I skipped by. That's the one in the husk. Some tender stem broccoli and also a bag of uh, basil as well for the pasta. And I'm also going to be doing French bread pizzas. A few bananas. These are priced at 14 pence each. I don't know why Aldi do that. They weigh them individually instead of all together, but never mind. A big bag of our usual Maris Piper potatoes. A bag of sugar for the cupboard. I don't take sugar in anything. Uh, the girls and Mr. Watts for tea both take it in tea and coffee. A couple of cans of cherry tomatoes and a can of new potatoes. Apparently these are lovely roasted in the oven. So I'm going to give that a go. Some marmalade for Mr. Watts for tea. And then some of their own chicken gravy I thought I'd give a go. Some salt that I got from Sainsbury's. And then some red pesto as well. I love pesto sauce. It's just wonderful. A few packs of this savoury rice. This is getting harder to find. You know, the bachelor's one I've found. So I grab these when I see them in Aldi's because they're more or less the same. Slightly different, but more or less the same. Yeah, I don't know why, but the bachelor's ones are getting harder to find. Then a couple of these wee spice blends. This is just sea salt and chilli. Never seen anything like this before. So of course, I had to pick up two of them because they are tiny and I just know I'm going to love these because I like anything and spicy. A wee jar of salmon paste for some toast. Now I love this. I know it's probably filled with rubbish but I do love it in toast. Some wrapping foil and then some roast potato seasoning, some butterscotch angel delight because I'm about 12 years old still and then a sausage casserole seasoning for the slow cooker sausage casserole that I'm going to be doing uh, soon actually. And then we've got some jelly tots. Now, this just reminds me of Christmas. I used to get this every year. It was either jelly tots or Smarties. Some rice and also some garlic bread slices as well. And then some batteries. I got batteries last week, but I got the wrong ones. So these are the right ones. A couple of boxes of potato gratin because one just isn't enough. And I'll just pop this into the cupboard for a wee emergency side if I need it. We're going to be having ravioli and again one box just isn't enough so I got two and I thought this one looked fab. I am going to do my own sauce. It's going to be a mascarpone and cherry tomato sauce that I make up to go with that. Some floor cleaner because we've got mostly hardwood floors in the house and that one is really good. And then a six pack of sparkling water, 95p, what a bargain. And then some surface wipes because I just can never have enough of these. And then a four pack of jacket potatoes. These are the frozen ones. These are our favourite, again, from Sainsbury's. And then a bag of corn, which is handy to pop into the freezer. So that was everything that I got in the supermarket this week. So if you're leaving at this, this point, thank you so much for watching. And a big thank you, as usual, to the supporters of the channel. Over on my Patreon page, 
to the channel members here on YouTube and for you all for watching, for leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos. I can't believe how many of you have been sharing the videos as well and I do notice. So thank you so much and thank you all, like I said, for watching. So like I said, yeah, I feel as though I get quite a lot there for the money and that will see us through for the week. So just over £50. I really don't think you can complain at that. But if you're not following me on Instagram yet, I'm what's for T3 over there just before I forget. So until I see you next time, guys, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you off soon. Back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.